During this screencast, we're going to talk about HAZMAP. HAZMAP is an occupational health database. You can access HAZMAP from the ToxNet homepage by clicking on the HAZMAP link. You can use HAZMAP to find evidence-based information about the adverse effects of workplace exposures to chemical and biological agents. We looked at HAZMAP in the perchloroethylene module, and we'll be looking at it in the occupational asthma module as well. In each module, we'll explore different ways to use HAZMAP. In the previous screencast on the Hazardous Substances Data Bank, we investigated benzene. In HAZMAP, let's use the Hazardous Agents option to look at another chemical used in fracking, ethylene glycol. When you click on the Hazardous Agents button, you can choose to browse by types of agents, by processes and adverse effects, or alphabetically. Let's use the alphabetical option to find ethylene glycol. We'll select E from the drop-down menu, and then scroll through the pages until we find ethylene glycol. The entry for ethylene glycol gives us the CAS number, the formula, synonyms, its category and description, and a comment section with brief information about the entry, a reference link, exposure assessment information, links to other National Library of Medicine databases, including the entry for ethylene glycol in the Hazardous Substances Data Bank. Additionally, you'll be presented with links to a pre-formulated ToxNet search a link to the ChemID Plus page for ethylene glycol, and a PubMed search. The next section of the ethylene glycol entry are the diseases associated with exposure to ethylene glycol. In this case, encephalopathy caused by chronic solvent exposure. As we saw in the HAZMAP section of the perchloroethylene module, there is a great deal of useful clinical information on the HAZMAP disease or syndrome page, including an overview of the disease or syndrome, a brief comment section, information on latency or incubation, ICD-9 codes for this disease, reference links, in this case a link to an article's record in PubMed, use the PubMed Central free full text icon to access the full text of the article, and back in HAZMAP you'll also find a list of symptoms and findings associated with this disease as well as high-risk job tasks associated with the disease. And finally, a link to the many hazardous agents that cause this occupational disease.